seen a show that made me actually want to get out there and play. Because, to be honest, music was never about performing live for me. I grew up in a little village in the middle of nowhere, so I didn't really see many shows growing up. So that was never my experience of music. Music for me was the pre-recorded medium, you know, the stuff I heard on the radio, stuff I get on a record. So I've, I've never in my life had that desire to be up on stage. It's just one of those things that became an obvious progression from being a musician. Obviously, you then have to go and do the shows. And then I discovered how much I loved it and how, how comfortable I feel just in that little place that's my own on the stage. But no one ever inspired me to want to get up there. You know, you look at the real top performers, your Freddie Mercury's and Prince and everybody. I had no desire to be that sort of a person. You know, to, to, I never wanted the spotlight. That's not my thing. I just wanted to be in the background making the music, really. <laughs> Depends if it counts. It was at a school party. Um, I had a... Uh, yeah, school party, I think I was in the fifth or the sixth form, so I don't know how old that was. And I had a couple of keyboards. Um, I had the drums pre-recorded on tape. I had a friend on guitar and another friend singing, and we had an audience of about eight. And it was one of the best gigs of my life. <laughs> and another one, I, actually the first one might have been actually in a school um, event. It might be an end of term party or something. And we did some covers. I remember we were doing Another Brick in the Wall by Pink Floyd. And the guitarist couldn't play the solo. So I put my keyboard through a distortion pedal and I did the Dave Gilmore solo. So I think that was probably my first gig. <laughs>